little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Big Square. Roadrunner.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of chaga coffee. All right, um, we're still on silver. Uh, they tried to do a little slam down this morning uh, as silver was breaking up over 1950, and they slammed it down, and it came right back up. Is this normal? Nothing is normal in silver. 150 years of silver market manipulation, price suppression is about to end. So nothing will be normal. Um, could they put the price to zero? Yes, with the click of a mouse. Um, could the price go to a million dollars an ounce? Absolutely, the same click of a mouse. Just be very careful. We are in the hot zone, kind of the same place we were at the beginning of uh, 2011 when silver was starting its run up to $50. And then was slammed down by J.P. Morgan. It was brought up by J.P. Morgan, then slammed down by J.P. Morgan. Back then, in 2011, they had inherited the monster Bear Stearns short position in silver. So they could not let the price of silver uh, continue past $50. So they instituted an artificial bear market uh, with the help of the Obama administration. Bill Dudley was placed as the chief of staff for Barack Obama in order to control the silver price. That's how important silver is to the economic uh, manipulation game. Uh, and now we got those some of those same people on the other side of the fence. They want to destroy the economy, destroy the, the United States, basically. And they know they can do it. Each side can do it. You can take out the bad guys with silver or you can destroy the, the entire global monetary system with silver. That's how important silver is. So hang on. Hang on to your hats. Um, if you look at what we're dealing with here, uh, at the all data here, this is actually in 1980, it went up to $50, right just short of $50. I heard intraday it traded above $50. Same thing in 2011, 100% rigged the whole time. Now we're at a point where we are going to hit that 50 again. I do not think it will stop. Um, again, though, if you hit the 50, uh, you're looking at at least a, what is that, uh, for every dollar that silver goes up, the bad guys, the eight shorts are going to be down $500 million. So 30, let's see, that would be a $15 billion hit if it hit $50, $15 billion hit for the eight bad guys, just in silver, not to mention what I mean, right now, they're about a billion short in silver, billion dollars underwater, um, and about 16 billion, I think, was the number from Ted Butler in gold. Uh, so, yeah, it's ugly. And these guys never take losses. Uh, it's everybody in the banking cabal except for J.P. Morgan, who is now long. Um, it's amazing that, that J.P. Morgan has six traders on RICO charges and they are investigating the company for RICO charges, and yet they're still allowed to be the largest player by far in silver. Um, BlackRock is part of that gang. BlackRock owns SLV, is required by law to, to assure the investors in SLV that their um, investment is sound and there's no fraud going on. So why does BlackRock employ J.P. Morgan as the custodian of SLV? Where's the fiduciary responsibility of BlackRock to pick someone to hold the physical metal for SLV shareholders who is not the biggest fraudster in that specific market? BlackRock is in on it, and they need to be taken out along with J.P. Morgan, all the banksters that rig the commodity markets. But anyway, that's where we are, and I went back, it's funny, because I was looking back at some of my old articles. Here's one. Um, this is right during the, probably a month before the the run up in 2011 from $20 to $50 silver. I had seven must-knows on silver price volatility. This is what I wrote back then and is absolutely relevant today. I've had many emails lately about the silver price moves, and I just want to make it very clear to everyone 
where the silver price fits into the road to Ruta theory. This is like 10 years ago I wrote this. <laughs> Here are a few issues that are important to understand as we ease into the chaos. And this is important for today also. One, only physical silver in your own possession will survive the global fiat mon monetary meltdown. I've been saying this for years, at least. Well, this one is nine years ago. Only physical metal in your own possession, not held by a third party, any third party, not SLV shares, not mining shares. None of it will last, will survive a global fiat monetary meltdown. And clearly you can see that's on the, the, the one of the possibilities for our system. Number two, using computer trading programs, they can place the price of silver anywhere they want from zero dollars to infinity. So count your silver in ounces and not fiat money. Nine years ago, I said that. Number three, if there's another silver price slam to coincide with the global market crash, there will be no physical silver available for purchase at these lower at the lower prices. That's exactly what happened when silver crashed from fifty down to twenty. You couldn't even get it. It was insane. And we saw that recently with the slam from nineteen dollars and fifty cents down to below twelve dollars just recently. You couldn't get physical silver. That's completely against commodity trading law. The CFTC, the DOJ, the CME, which is a self-regulating entity, are all criminal co-conspirators. As the DOJ is charging, one of the co-conspirators in the J.P. Morgan investigation should be the CFTC and the CME. They co-conspired with J.P. Morgan. And, for example, Barack Obama. Bill Daly, Chief of Staff, Jamie Dimon, Blythe Masters. If you want to, the criminals are out there for everyone to see. All you got to do is apply the law to what they did. But the United States won't do that because we run a fractional reserve fraudulent system. And that's why we're in so much trouble right now. If we had a sound system based on sound money, we wouldn't have any of these problems. But we don't. Anyway, um, number four, those looking to leverage silver investments must understand that there is massive leverage in real physical silver. As the bad guys have sold many times more physical silver uh, than ounces than exist in the world. Absolutely. And that can be seen every day in the volumes of the comics. Look at the volumes of the comics. Here they are right here. Look at that. Right here, there was 120,000 contracts, which is, what, uh, 600 million ounces, traded in one single day. That is massive sales of a phantom metal. It's insane. So, yeah, you don't need mining shares. Imagine all the mining share money is going to be going into physical in your own possession. All the ETF money will be flowing out of the ETFs and into physical in your own possession if they have time. Who knows if they'll have time. Um, yeah, if you own mining shares, good luck with that. What country would ever allow, uh, especially a U.S.-based uh, investor, to steal the wealth of their in-ground future? Mexico, you know, mining companies, in South America, you think they're going to allow? They've already shut down their mines. They're done with the U.S. When silver breaks over $20, it's going to run free for a while. I don't know on what exchange. Probably the comics will probably shut down. They can't run a freely traded silver market. And when that happens, no, you're not going to get anything from those mining companies. They'll all be nationalized. All right, uh, let's see. The new CFTC, they had just said uh, this was Dodd-Frank. They ended up not, not doing anything, no position limits at all. And they don't even follow the rules that they have, the normal rules that they have. It's all a con. The new CFTC is designed to around a post-crash market regulation regimen and will not be the cause of the silver chaos. So keep this in mind as they extend and delay any hard position limits that may cause havoc in the silver markets. They did it for 10 years now, nine years. It is insane. Number six, the end of silver price manipulation will mean the end of all unbacked fiat monetary systems as control of silver and gold is 100% required for an unbacked currency system to exist. Absolutely. 
every single time we went off the gold standard, it crashed in eight to 10 years in history, except with the invention of computer trading programs by Alan Greenspan in the late 1960s, early 1970s. That's the only reason that unbacked fiat money continues to exist. Because what happens? They print it more than anybody can ever fathom. And that's exactly what has happened. But because you can rig any market with the computer programs in a digital uh, universe that we live in, it's been able to exist for over 50 years. Around 50 years. And that's going to end. Number seven, <clears throat> an investment in real physical silver can change your stars in a way you had never dreamed possible and you deserve to be rewarded. Yeah, you did back then and you do today. <clears throat> Those who have been hanging on for nine years to the end of this game, this artificial bear market that J.P. Morgan instituted to get out of their gigantic short position, which they have now done. Mission accomplished. It's time for the price of silver to skyrocket. If you don't have any physical silver, go get some today. Go down to your local coin shop and buy all they got. If you don't have a local coin shop, send an email to Andy Sheckman, Andy at milesfranklin.com, Andy at milesfranklin.com, and he promises all Road Ruta members or followers that he'll get them the best price out. And they'll ship it to your front door. And there's not much time left. Have him ship whatever he's got in inventory. There's not much time left. All right. <clears throat> On to the silver futures. Still open interest. Still 2,391 contracts. Why haven't they delivered those contracts yet? It costs them money every day they hold the silver in the warehouse, which means they don't have it in the warehouse. And these all have to be delivered by the end of the month. We're halfway through the month. And a large chunk which represents probably one of the biggest, I mean, just what's left, one of the biggest delivery months, over 10 million ounces, needs to be delivered. And let's take a look at who made deliveries yesterday. It was pretty big, 752 contracts. But look who they are. Who are these people who don't have the metal to deliver? It's not the J.P. Morgans of the world. It is right here. SG Americas. Why did they wait so long? Or is that, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, five. No, that's an HSBC. Why did HSBC, one of the most criminal banks on planet Earth, absolutely probably the biggest number one short uh, side of the comics game, had to deliver 622 contracts? Why did they wait two weeks to do that? Because they didn't have the metal. They had to lease it from J.P. Morgan, it looks like. There's still two, over 2,000 contracts left to be delivered. Who are the other players? International FC Stone. Well, JP Morgan's taken delivery. FC Stone had to deliver. Marek Spec had to deliver. These are the companies who don't have metal. Otherwise, they would have delivered on day one. So they'd save money from storage. They don't have it. And they're trying to get it. It's very exciting in the silver markets. Again, you know, massive amounts of uh, comics contracts flying back and forth. It, it's completely out of control. The world is completely out of control, but the silver market is completely out of control now. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people talking about using silver as a delivery mechanism, using the comics. Unheard of. But as we can tell from this month, let's take a look at the totals this month. We have COMEX totals 14,671. Vast majority of that from JP Morgan on both sides of that game. But look at the, check out the, the delivery amounts 11,000 contracts on day one, 800 on day two, and day three was. Now, notice it's after 7-1, so they can report it on a different day, a little accounting gimmick for the second quarter, but 700. 13,000 right away. And if you're going to deliver your metal and you're sitting in your warehouse, you want to do it right away. So you save on delivery charges. Clearly, somebody didn't have the metal. 
Look at the days following. 213, 203, these should be going down. 37, 165, 245, 16. And then yesterday's 752 contracts delivered yesterday. And there's still over 2,000 left. Why are they keeping it in the warehouse? They aren't. They don't have the metal. When is this going to really come into play? If we get through the month, which we probably will, because J.P. Morgan will lease them uh, some physical silver to make delivery. Look at this number for September. 140,000 contracts open interest. Yes, it will go down between now and then. But I believe it's going to be the biggest delivery month on planet Earth ever. And they get, that's game over in September. <clears throat> Keep an eye on September 11th. <laughs> um, as far as what's going on in California, we've been taken over by the socialists. Gavin Newsom, deep state all the way, has uh, ordered everybody to lock down again, closing all the bars, halt indoor activity. What he's doing is completely against the law, and it's not based on science. Remember, when they told us to lock down, we have to shut your business because we have to flatten the curve. The curves are flat. All of the hospitals in California have plenty of room. Plenty of room. Even with all the new patients, non-COVID patients, taking up a lot of that room now. Anyway. And they'd say, stay inside. Don't get any vitamin D. Put a mask over your face. Don't get any oxygen. These people need to go to jail. Martin Armstrong came out with a good one. Government and media-induced psychological terrorism. That's exactly what it is. Anyone who has ever took a class in psychology will recognize that what the media and government are doing is clear psychological terrorism, which appears to be directed at breaking the bonds of civilization right down to the core. Civilization is created by people coming together and bonding. This is the foundation of a civilization built upon a mutual benefit for all. Civilization begins its decline when the government crosses the line and sees itself as the creator of civilization in their delusional world of power. What they are doing with the aid of the left-wing press is has been the deliberate instilling of fear in the air that is beyond belief. Their delusion knows no bounds, for they think they can tear the foundation of civilization apart to win at all costs. And then they assume it will end and they will be in power and all will be good. We have heard of the book, Extraordinary Popular Delusions and Madness of the Crowds, in terms of market booms and busts. However, using this coronavirus, these people have created this delusion on an unbelievable scale. It was walking down the beach. I saw a woman with an oversized hat, a gas mask, and goggles. I was dumbfounded. You walk the beach for fresh air. This outfit was beyond description, and I wish I had my phone just to illustrate how insane she was acting. The public is adopting what you would call a personality dis disorder that now threatens society as a whole. Any participating psychiatrist specializing in anxiety disorders or paranoid delusions, not to mention irrational fears, will tell you that this is a very serious medical condition in an individual, yet here we are dealing with the whole population. These people have induced a primal fear in this coronavirus that has been escalated into mass panic solely for, the political, for their political purposes. It is clearly deliberate and totally irresponsible. The psychological damage would take years to address in an individual. Here we are dealing with a society. They are breaking civilization at its core, and this is the first step to the breakup of the United States and Europe. People will no longer trust each other and fear they may be diseased and prefer to keep their distance. When that, once that begins, the economy starts to crumble and there will be no reversing this trend. Thank you, CNN, New York Times, and Washington Post for your contributions to the destruction of not just the United States, but Western civilization. Martin Armstrong. So true. And when you stand back a little, it's obvious to anyone who looks at it. <clears throat> but when you, we're near zero, I guess this is the start of all of it. That's what we get to live with for the rest of our lives. Um, just an update on the private road. On the private road, I posted a uh, another year zero update. This is a silver update. I dig a little deeper into silver. And then I walk through how to 
set up a Theta Guardian node. Yes, Theta is the, the mothership if you're looking to invest in the crypto right now. If there's one I'd invest in and you can only pick one, it would be Theta. And if you had to have your biggest holding, I think it would be Theta as well. The future of the internet, the more I look at it, the more I, I read the white paper the other day, it blows you away. It will, Theta will be the most secure blockchain beyond Bitcoin. Yes, beyond Bitcoin and a hell of a lot faster. Anyway, they just posted on July 15th, Theta Roadmap Developments. And what are they starting up? A decentralized video platform that can't be censored. They're going to do it all, let me tell you. Um, and that is on the dock for uh, this, I think it is, yes. I think it's this quarter. Uh, let me let me read it to you. Uh, the biggest areas of focus will be improving the usability of the Theta Network for content creators and streaming platforms. For content creators, it means building out the Theta Edge node so that fully decentralized streams can be broadcast. Codenamed AnyCast to Theta users that can't be censored. Remember, everybody's going to be a Theta user because Samsung's putting it on every phone, every TV, everything. And Apple will follow suit soon. In the Edge Nodes current beta form, you can set up your own live stream and broadcast directly to other Theta Edge Nodes entirely peer to peer with no content delivery network involved. It may seem pretty basic, but this is actually the core on which entirely decentralized streaming platforms could be based on. Next steps will be to add ways to share your stream IDs with other Edge Nodes. Notify followers that you are going live and even message other Edge Node users fully peer-to-peer. -peer. The goal is to provide the underlying pieces so that anyone can build their own decentralized streaming site or app around the Edge Node infrastructure for content that can't be deplatformed, censored, or otherwise restricted. How cool is that? So let's see, what are we looking at? Timing. So it'll be the fourth quarter is the planned release of any cast, which will be wonderful for Road to Ruta and anybody who uh, is being censored by YouTube. Um, there are others, uh, library, and, and you know a bunch of others. Um, but this is just one of many things that Theta can do. And it will be on every Samsung phone, every flat samsung flat tv computer apple will get into it and put it in theirs why because it's cheaper for them it's cheaper for them than going through the content delivery network and they can participate in the future which is decentralized content delivery decentralized internet which will understand how much we need when the bad guys shut off the internet with their kill switch coming up in the next couple months. You've got to be ready for that. Tell all your friends and family. Expect your phone and your computers to go down for a matter of days. Could be hours, probably days. Just enough to freak everybody out and then start it up again. We'll understand just how much we need decentralized internet. All right. Again, I have posted a private road video on the, the Theta Guardian note, how to set it up. Go check it out. And if you want to subscribe to The Private Road, hit subscribe today. I will send you 100 Theta and 100 Theta Fuel already loaded on a paper wallet. Um, if Michelle White Dove is correct, Theta is going up over $1,000. I'm handing out $100,000. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen tomorrow. Uh, Michelle is amazing psychic, the best psychic in the world. She won the best psychic in America contest, but she blows away anybody in the world, if you ask me. I think. There's many ways that Theta can get to $1,000 per coin. So ultimately, this may be worth, this may be a lottery ticket that I'm giving out with every private road subscription or renewal. No guarantees, but hey, stranger things have happened. Hint, hint, Bitcoin at $9,000. Anyway, this is Big Square. Roadrew.com. I'll talk to you guys later.